Hey everybody, so today's look is just a very quick Halloween look. It's kind of Day of the Dead inspired, so I start out with this white base. It did make the look very shiny, so I recommend maybe trying something else, learning from my mistakes, but I got mine from Party City. Next, I just take this black cream eyeliner. It's just one that I already had, and I start outlining the eyes to make um, the dark circle around them. I actually used a pink liquid lipstick as a base on the eyelids to make the bright pink eyeshadow pop more. So with my Morphe 35F Fall Into Frost palette, I'm taking this bright pink shimmery color and placing that all over the lid as well as right underneath, basically just filling in the circles that you made with the eyeliner. Right here you can just see me cleaning it up and outlining the circles just to make it all uniform and not as messy. Right here I'm just messily um, adding some more definition to the crease by adding a black eyeshadow to the outer corners of the eyes. Right here you can see me doing a line straight down the forehead. Basically, I'm just starting to create this spiderweb effect on the top of her forehead, drawing a straight line down, and then some curvy ones going right above her brow bones. And then after I have her forehead sectioned, I'm just doing the little scoopy things, you know, to make the actual spiderweb. Um, I'm so bad at explaining, I'm very sorry. I think you'll see in this next clip. Yeah, right here, you can kind of see him. So just like a little spiderweb thing, and then deepening the outer bit of her forehead by um, shadowing it with some black eyeliner. So now I'm just doing her um, nose. Um, honestly, just do whatever shape you want. This is just what I went for, but it's just your preference. Now I'm just drawing this line from her ear to the corner of her mouth and thickening it, and then doing the lines across her mouth to resemble um, stitches. So the bit at the bottom is supposed to look like cracks on her face. Keep in mind this is the first time I've done this look so it's not going to be perfect. And then on that line that was previously done I just did some swirlies. Right here is actually my favorite part. It's what ties in um, the whole look. It ties it all together. You just put like little circly things around the uh, lines that you created around her eyes. And you can just see this right here. It kind of looks like little flowers. I know it's not perfect, but it's the first time I've done this look. So if you have any suggestions on how to do it better, please let me know. That'd be great. And I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.